Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Pick Your Brain Podcast, a platform to showcase creative social issues, mental health, and community empowerment. I'm Simone. Kyle, this is. What up, kid folks? This is Mike D. What's good? What up? It's Champ. <laughs> the Champ. <laughs> What kind of intro was that, Jonathan? Is the champ? Come on! I'm the I'm I'm champ, bro. I'm champ. <laughs> like Champorado. Champorado. Is that is that brown goodness? That's what Champorado is, right? <laughs> you know what? It's okay. They love me in the winter time. Okay, that's right. <laughs> it's it's all about that Champorado. <laughs> he's, he's right. <laughs> Mike, did you introduce yourself? Oh, yeah, I did. did. I'll oh. do it again. What up, keep folks? <laughs> it's Mike D. What's good? <laughs> Yo, it's champ. <laughs> and our guest today... Eliseo. Oh! Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, who, who Are that? you okay? <laughs> who that? Who that? <laughs> what are you, what are you hearing? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Where are we at today? Where are we at today? How are you feeling? It's uh, Valentine's. It's oh, yeah. Lunar it's New Year Day. and Chinese New Year. Lunar New Year and Chinese New Year are the same thing, my guy. My guy. My guy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Chief. But, Come on, Chief. Champ. You ain't got to do that too. <laughs> Champurado. <laughs> Champurado. You know, okay. you call me Champ. You could call me Champurado. I don't care, bro. We feeling it today. You know what I'm saying? I'm wearing red, bro. I'm wearing red. You know what I'm saying? Right. Celebrate that Lunar <laughs> New Year, that Valentine's Day. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Anyways. And, and we are love signs, Scorpios. It's true. <laughs> Don't make any more Scorpios, world. Don't yeah. Make any more Today's oh, the wait. day to make them. Oh, yeah. Huh. Today's the day to make That's them. crazy. If you guys didn't know, um, all four of them are Scorpios. All the boys. I'm I'm a Virgo. I'm an earth sign, so. Wait, why did you womp, womp, womp? My You're a Virgo. Me. You're a Virgo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Y'all need me. That's what I hear. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, anyways, so, Eli... How does it feel to be a Scorpio? I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> if you want to answer, you can. Um, so Eli, how does it feel? Uh, how does it feel beating Tom Brady twice, bro? We could have used you last Sunday. Oh my goodness! I'm sorry, guys. I should have been there. He was too busy making music. All right. Yeah, music, He's pursuing bro. his dream. Change Come on careers, now. you know. Let him be, Jonathan. That's Let a football be. reference, Eli Manning. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the champ. Champorado. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, Eli. So we already said you're a musician. So what kind of musician? Mu- I can't speak. Musician, are you? Musician? Um, I'm mostly a producer. I don't. I'm not. I wouldn't say like I have a lot of instrumental talent quite yet. But I'm learning. But I would say the genre is like I don't know. It's pretty mixed. I'm just nice. a musician. There you go. Facts, musician, period. I'm just kidding. Period. So period. like when like we, <clears throat> I said like a lot, but um, when me and um, Kyle were talking, he said you're a sound engineer and I was confused. I was like, what do you mean? Like, what the hell is that? So then like, I remember asking you like, well, so are you like a sound engineer or a producer? So do you want to tell like the crowd like, what's the difference? what's the difference between like a sound engineer and a producer? Well, I will say that. Anything I say, like, I, I'm not professional, you know, so don't take my word for it. But, um, yeah, so producers, I mean, they kind of encompass a lot of things. Like, it's not just, like, making beats, you know. Like, producers have to, like, arrange the song or, like, record the music, of course, or, like, master and mix the, the, <laughs> the sounds as well. Um, but a sound engineer usually just focuses on, like, the recording process and also, like, the post-production. So, like after you finish making the song or producing the song, someone has to, you know, help you out and ensure that, that the sound is the sound that you want. So, like, the mastering, the mixing, of course. So, yeah, I, I'm definitely a producer, not a sound engineer. But nice. I did want to do the engineering side of things for a while, and then I ended up getting lost in the music, you know? Yeah. There's this show that I was watching. It's called All American. I don't know if you guys watch it. Oh, hell but yeah. But, like, 
Um, in one of the episodes, Layla, like she, her dad's a producer and she wanted to get into the, into producing. And when she, when she went into the studio, there was an extra guy there and she was like, oh, it's just a sound engineer. All they do is like mess with they the buttons. They the knobs. They just yeah. like mess with the knobs. Just, and like, I thought that was funny. <laughs> that sounds right. <laughs> this sounds better. But yeah, that's cool. So like what made you gravitate towards making music? I mean, there's honestly a lot of reasons. I feel like, um, COVID made a big impact on me deciding to do that. Cause it's a pretty recent thing that I just started starting to start to do, you know, but I mean, my family's all really musically talented. Like they're all musically inclined and they love, they love music much like everyone else probably does too, you know, mm-hmm. but they've always been like really into like singing or playing the guitar and stuff like that. So it was already like kind of natural for me to like be interested in it, mm-hmm. but then COVID hit and like me and my close friend, like my close friend Morel kind of got closer and like, She's a musician as well, so I started learning some things, and I was like, you know what? I kind of like doing this, you know? Yeah. It's pretty fun. And then I just started doing it even more and more, and this is where I'm at now. Did you say recent? Like, how recent was this? Mm, like, so you started producing? I mean, probably, like, as soon as, so like, last April. Oh, oh wow. Okay. So, like, oh, my gosh, almost, like, a year ago. Oh my god, it's been less than a year. Wait, that's actually crazy because like I don't know if you guys listen to his stuff because it sounds like that is not like you know it sounds like you've been doing it for a while. Thank you. You know. Wow, that's kind of crazy. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, No, yeah. I I think I learned quicker than I thought I would Mm -hmm. because I think I'm just like. I think, again, like my family's really musically talented. Yeah. And also, Morel is really talented. Shout out Morel. Morel, Morel. is so in- so talented. We'll drop her at too, to be honest. Morel. Like, honestly, shit. Yeah. That's also, cool. it was like shelter in place, so you had a lot of time. I had a lot of time. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. That's exactly what yeah. it was. Yeah. I think, think we were just talking about earlier before you got in, in terms of like a lot of creatives coming out uh, around mm-hmm. this time because yeah. uh, a lot of people have more time with themselves and trying to figure out what is it that they love they love to do, you know. So, I mean, that's literally what I, what I did. Like, I was in, I was sitting in my room with with myself, and I was just like, "What am I even doing?" You know, like, why am I so focused on such silly things when I can be doing what I love to do? You know? Yeah. Jonathan was gonna say something. Yeah, yeah that's why I stopped collecting Yu Gi Oh cards. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fun fact: We're actually from the time we're shooting this, we're actually a month and three days away from the first shelter at home orders wow. from a year ago. Yeah. yeah. Officially? Mm-hmm. Wow. Unofficially. So I'm scared. You're... It has been so long. Jesus Christ. Like, sometimes, like, I think, like, things are last year. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I was here last year. But then I'm like, wait a minute. No, that was 2019. Because, like, I don't realize that 2020 was, like, in It's shelter. a blur, yeah. Yeah, I'm just like, what the hell happened in 2020, you know? Question, question. Was there any hobbies that came up around... Shelter in place when he came in. Like, Did you become a plant dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like he got into producing, you know. No, yeah, yeah. that's funny you say that. Like, I did get up some plants from my family and like, nice and my grandma and my aunt. Nice. I've been doing that too, but other than that, I mean, I've always liked skating. I st- kind of stopped doing it for a minute, like recently, because I was getting kind of like, fr- like a little like freaked out with everyone in there just not wearing masks all the time. Mm. Right. Not that you guys. For sure, for like, sure. It was just like it was a lot of kids out there. So yeah. I, was like, I don't know about this, but I do love skating. Um, I like going in the bowls and just riding. It's fun. Mm-hmm. Other than that, I like video games. Of course, I mean it's kind of oh. a pretty common hobby. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Did you become an Animal Crosser? Are you animal Crosser? No, I'm not an Animal Crosser. Okay, no, okay thank no, God no, you no. weren't one of those people. <laughs> not, like, not, not like. What are you trying to say, Jonathan? <laughs> what are you trying to, yeah, you trying to say about me, huh? Mainstream, bro. Following the hype, bro. <laughs> what about Actually, for I everyone? Play, what, a, huh? what about for everyone? Like, uh, is there specific hobbies that we all picked up? That y'all want to share? Yeah, I mean, I started this podcast. Excuse me, you started this podcast? <laughs> actually, yeah. we started this yeah. podcast. Eli was actually, Eli I was, was the original. Jonathan, Eli was one I helped of the original. He was the name. He was the original Mexican, Mexican guy. Yeah, I was, was the original, original Mexican. <laughs> I was but guess what, <laughs> fool? <laughs> guess what, Chapulau <laughs> came through, fool? No, and then, and then Moreau, which was Filipino oh, yeah, too. Moreau, too. <laughs> Oh, wait. He's the original hey, churro. Hey, so hey, 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 hey. I, I foreshadowed this. So I called myself champ. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, I mean, what? Where was this going? Where did uh, this hobbies, go? Hobbies. Hobbies. Yeah, hobbies. Uh, yeah. Hobbies. What were other hobbies that we all hobbies. picked up? 
Yo, uh, wanna share? Yeah, I, p- I picked up yoga. You did? Yeah. yeah yoga. Yeah. Yoga is hella hard. Is there a specific yoga. is there a specific position that's hard to, for you to do? He likes. <laughs> I like all types of positions. <laughs> Ew. He'd be like, Ew. Wait, wait, that's gross. Yeah. Because I was like, he likes it. I'm like, ah. <laughs> anyways. Kyle be like that Ari song, switching the position for you. Oh, I thought you were talking about 3435. Okay, 34, well, slow down. Slow okay, down. relax. Slow down. Slow down. How about you, uh, John? Jonathan? Was there a specific hobbies that you picked up? Eating. <laughs> that's what that's a lot of us, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, you were one of the cookers, the chefs? You know how like there was the whole like train of chefs all of a sudden everyone's cooking. Oh no, I just baking. started eating. No, I just ate I just ate. I was just like, you know, I'm I'm sad. Um, 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 <laughs> uh I don't mm, I don't know if I picked up anything consistently, to be honest. I mean I started biking for a bit, but that's been inconsistent because you know, I <laughs> love school. Um <laughs> Mm, yeah, I guess just I, I'm just be honest. Eating, bro, I was just like, you know, what? food's so goddamn good. Yeah, it's all really. on us, huh? Nice. He's a food. Champurrado be really dope though. Right now, it was yeah. cold. It's cold. <laughs> How about you, Mike? Uh well, I did get into some plants. I got some plants. I mean, if you walked in, and there's a hell of plants right there. And uh, I got into ugat clothing. I guess I had a lot more time to uh, work on ugat. <laughs> So definitely, uh, yeah, that's what Subtle I got shout into. Out. Yeah. So, <laughs> for shout sure. Out. <laughs> so yeah, definitely, I think we if we have time to ourselves, and there's like we could reflect and we could actually take uh, take the time to work on the crap that we would, you know, we'd like to do the passion that we have. So uh-huh. yeah, like our ideal our, our, our ideal life choices. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. 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 So back to the the choices that you made in terms of being a producer, right? Mm-hmm. And so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Facts. Sorry, I was just thinking in my head, like, I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you guys ask yourself that every day? No, yeah. Like, damn, Same. bro, what the hell am I doing? What are you doing? <laughs> are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You're picking fights old, with champ, like, bro. That's sitting here doing. talking to a camera and my peers. <laughs> so, yeah. This is the life. This is the life. Okay, anyways. <laughs> we're all like, wow. <laughs> we're all in deep thought now. Yeah, we're, all, we're all lost in our heads <laughs> We're all like, dang. Okay, Simone, so anyways. Huh? Simone got me contemplating after the show. What yeah, the fuck am I doing, doing with my life? <laughs> <laughs> Inception part two. Uh, awkward pause. I'm just kidding. Anyways, so back to music. Um, what kind of music do you like? I like, I mean, that question's kind of loaded because I feel like, yeah. I mean, like, there's so much music out there to like. Yeah. But I think ideally, like, I would say the music I listen to most is like R&B and like, alternative like i guess hip-hop so like think mm. of it like think of like tyler and like frank mm. and all them Ooh, okay yeah um, i'm really into frank ocean for sure like that's people know that about me i'm like i'm just too obsessed with that guy mm-hmm. um but yeah i mean mostly just like you know drum bass and and piano you know nice have you seen What's him live frank? frank i don't i don't think most people have honestly i know oh, where do you go concerts he doesn't no, have he, luck. He like never performed bro he's really, like not uh-huh. been, really like, mysterious yeah interesting he's on like a song just, right last year no. Song last yeah, year. yeah. Or three two. He, he was in performing Coachella oh, last year, actually, and they like canceled it. Are you? Are they? Wow, oh, the only time. God, that sucks. Wait, is he gonna perform at the next one? Because you know how like they push back the like. I mean, the you tickets? never know. He'd probably be like, "This is a way for him to get out of it." Honestly, right? Damn. <laughs> Maybe like Frank Ocean like made this like on purpose. That's what everyone's COVID. saying. Oh. <laughs> he made COVID oh, so he didn't have to perform. <laughs> Like, but um, what's we're gonna get Frank canceled Ocean song? so hard. Frank Ocean. What were you saying? <laughs> we're gonna get canceled so hard, dude. Yeah, I know. Wait, why? Frank Ocean caused COVID. Is that yeah. what you oh. said? <laughs> no, no, you didn't say that. We're gonna get no, canceled I was just so saying a conspiracy hard. theory. No, she's theory. saying that well, COVID happened because Frank Ocean. Yeah, made what it. if he was like, you know, because yeah, he didn't because he doesn't like performing for some reason or he doesn't really perform. But that was just a joke. <laughs> okay, don't cancel. So us. I was just like, fuck. Right? I mean, if. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was like, I mean, if you want to cancel us, <laughs> sure. True. But anyways. So your like of music, is it parallel to the pr- music that you produce? Is it? That was what I was going to ask. Good job. Oh. Did you read my mind? No. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mike Scorpio re- minds. Mike can read minds. Because remember last time he read your mind. I just, the absurdity. Oh, yeah. Well, I just oh, read yeah. people. We're very oh. intuitive. Dude, Mike, do you have access to our phones, bro? Like, did you look, look over uh, Simone's shoulder? Be like, what's the next question? I don't, even know, I don't even know the, the questions. 
But yeah, that was the question. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that was the question. Are, okay. Is your music like um, the music that you produce? Is it like does it fall in line with the type of music you like listening to? Like, is it like? I actually have a good answer for this. Ooh. So I don't. I don't think I intentionally do those. Like, I don't intentionally produce songs that are similar to like the artists I like. But I think most people who make music end up making music that is similar to the music they like because that's that's kind of what they're influenced by. Mm. So like, yeah. it just comes naturally because yeah. you just hear it. You hear the songs that you would usually listen to in your head, but in your own your own version, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And it ends up becoming the song you make. You know. <laughs> kind of like the <laughs> halftime show with the weekend. He hella like influenced by Michael Jackson, and that looked like kind of like a Michael mm-hmm. Jackson type mm-hmm. of performance. That's actually so funny because I was watching. I watched the show called Dairy Girls, and <laughs> the girl was supposed to write like a script on like whatever, like a play or whatever, and she was like, "Oh, I accidentally wrote." word for word an episode of this whatever show (laughs) and it was so funny i was like oh my god because they're also irish so their accents and the way they speak and then like their like facial reactions made it like 10 times funnier but yeah what's it called they say they say oh what's that one saying when they say like imitation (laughs) 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 imitation is a is a form of flattery it's the best it's the best best form of flattery there you go so yeah Yeah. and didn't you and morel say like you guys like (laughs) reproduced a song before i remember you guys reproducing a a weekend song off the after hours album what was it again um Hardest to love. Escape from LA. That's the one we did. Yeah, it was oh. fun. It was, it was pretty similar. You guys heard it. You guys both heard it. Right? Oh wait, oh, was yeah. it when we went to your your yeah. place? No, oh part, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember. Oh my god. The weekend song. It's crazy. God damn. Wow, that felt like so long ago. It was a long time ago. Damn. It was like beginning of COVID. That's crazy. Whoa, yeah. we've almost known each other for almost, almost a year. A, about it. Yeah, almost a year. That's just about. And initially, it was because of this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. I feel like I'm in an episode of like, you know, Inception or some <laughs> shit. That's Ultimate actually crazy. Going on right I know. <laughs> That's crazy. Do you, do you like WandaVision? I love WandaVision. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Shot this. No, 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 no. Nobody talk about Friday's episode. Nobody talk no, about Friday's dude, episode. Watch it. Yeah. Anything before, I'm good. <laughs> but there's so many like dude. ways they could go about this. Mm-hmm. It's actually crazy. But this Friday's episode made me even more confused. I was like, where is this going? I'm going to have to check it out. I'm going to have to you check it out. Yeah. yeah. I saw it today on uh, when I was watching Solo today. Ooh, I watched Solo? Solo again. It was more better. Han, Han Solo? Like the movie Solo? Yeah. It was better, Star Wars? It was better this, the third time I watched it. It, 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 it kind of bleeds it's into you. Fun. It kind of bleeds yeah. into you. I was like, a lot of resistance. I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what Star Wars is. It's really a story of imperialism and yeah. the people fighting mm-hmm. it and the revolution. And there we are, yeah. talking about Star Wars again for yeah, like the <laughs> Every oh episode we talk about. Just playing Battlefront too. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh! I love that. That's the only game I play. That's the only game I play. <laughs> oh, we have to start with wow. this again. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> that's literally the only game I play. It's hella fun. <laughs> Kyle's so excited. I, like, I want to play now. <laughs> I want to play Star Wars now. Sorry, Eli. I, I gotta go. Bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought oh, you were literally you, gonna go. I was like, wait, what? What'd you say, Jonathan? Has anybody ever seen a Carlos Mencia stand up? Oh, Carlos mm, no. Mencia. He's there. He's there. So, Wait, long sto- so long story short, he makes a, I think it's a bit, a joke on Star Wars, how Star Wars is racist because like in the future, there's no Mexicans, but there's one hairy character named Chewie. <laughs> that was uh, <laughs> that's hell of a Oh my God. Well, well, you, you, know, you know who the Filipinos were, right? Who? It's the little bears. What do you call them? Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> right, you want? The little bears. You yeah, you were. Bears? And they, they were speaking Tagalog. So they were they were the Filipinos. <laughs> like, <laughs> actually so funny. Is that what they call it? Iwak? Is that what they call it? Yeah, 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 the Iwaks, yeah. yeah. They, they were actually speaking Tagalog. So they were like, oh, there you go. Filipino representation. <laughs> <laughs> Little hairy dudes running around. In the jungle. <laughs> That's so funny. No wonder I heard something about Tita Sherry in one of those conversations. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Oh my God. Star Wars. They came out with two books. Recently, uh, I forgot what they were called. The Knights of the Old Republic or something. Yeah, I think it's like a re- yeah, something like that. Something Did you like read that? that. No, I don't read that. Because okay. they're supposed to be like, they're like, I don't know. It's complicated because there's like two worlds of Star Wars. The first oh, yeah. one is like aligned with the movies, and the second one is not aligned with the movie movies. Really, like canon like, and not canon. Yeah, 
Yeah. Or the what do they call it? The Star Wars Legends or something yeah. like that. Yeah, like there you go. Oh. Yeah, there yeah. You go. yeah, I'm wow, trying to read all so the books. Star Wars like informed. That's crazy. Yeah. Me? Yeah. All you guys are like oh. Star Wars informed. Because we're obsessed. <laughs> I, I just like playing Star Wars Battlefront. No, I'm just kidding. I do my research. That's all I care about. <laughs> I just watch it for Pedro Pascal. I'm just going to be honest, bro. Like <laughs> I'm in a so in terms of your production, is it limited to music or is it can it be can it be any like movies? Can it be anything like <clears throat> like you think I'm like I'm interested like in a that? soundtrack to a movie? Oh my God, you know, fun. like is it limited to just like you know like music or I mean, just just kind of yeah yeah yeah. I mean, I would say like most producers could produce any kind of music if they wanted to. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just kind of like whatever you choose to do. So, but. I mean, yeah, that'd be fun. Because I was thinking like the soundtrack for, for Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yeah. Right, yeah. We're talking about yeah. Star Wars, you know. That's hard. And was they, it? they use like like a lot of instrument, like violins. And yeah. Like, like all that stuff. So, yeah. Like, no, it's, you know what's crazy how like the industry is? So I went to Cogsville just to check it out way back when. And they like forced me to stay there. That's another story. But they like wouldn't let me leave. And they're like, you know what? You're never going to make it unless you do production in music or, t- or in, in uh, production in TV shows or movies. Anything else mm. is not possible. <laughs> Let's shut people's dreams down. Well, and I could see why, because if you, have yeah. you thought about going to production school? Like, I mean, oh. I think about it a lot, because like, I would probably learn so much and a lot quicker than I am now, because I'm, I'm oh. learning my own, you know? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. the reason why I ask that, because I think a lot of the, the uh, colleges here, they cater to these like tech companies and stuff like that. Because a lot mm. of production like Pixar and all that yeah. is around here. So it's true. if you put two together, I see why they wouldn't want to gear producers towards that direction it's probably a good gateway to like gain like momentum as an artist like if yeah. you start making music for like tv shows or yeah something. yeah wow Get your name out there you but know? the independent label is coming up so quick it is it's, it's crazy <laughs> so it's, it's it's like not not possible anymore no the music industry is changing a lot oh like, hell it's yeah changing a lot this year yeah was the first one that yeah. came out with a uh, just all free was it chance chance was the first one to ever do that i mean he's not one of the first but like really got big Right, Chance mm-hmm. the Rapper's album. He posted on SoundCloud, something like that. You know yeah. that, right? Yeah. It's fucking crazy, crazy. You know, champs, champs, champ, <laughs> champ, <laughs> the champ, 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 champ. <laughs> Chance the Rapper, his family, like, no, like his parents, like, are like no Obama or something like that. Oh, like, I guess his fam. I don't know. I heard someone said that his like parents are like, I don't know, something like that. Mm. He said, I got yeah. my city doing front flips. Hey. But that's cool. Because I remember watching a video of like two <clears> people <throat> talking. I forgot who it was, but they were talking about how like um, being independent and stuff like that, like in, in the music industry is like so hard. Mm. And Extremely like, hard. yeah. Do, do you want to do that to stay independent or down the road you want to be for a big corporation I or mean, whatever? Like, realistically speaking, I don't have any like strong interest in like like getting into the industry because it's so it's so messed up right now mm. uh-huh. but i mean if i get the opportunity i, I might take because you know it's like that's a career you can make out of it of course and okay and who do you want to like produce for like i like is it like for yourself or is it like certain artists you really want to cater to i mean i have a long way to go for sure before i start producing for people but oh so just for your just for right now i'm really just trying to like learn you know and like that's master beautiful. my craft and figure out what sound i like the most and yeah. you know who i who, who am i as an artist you know like i need oh. to, i want to figure that yeah. out first. that's good like i have want to have a purpose in terms of like why i would release music rather than just you know dropping songs yeah because uh-huh. they're, they're, i like them dude send yeah. me all your songs dude i'm gonna drop them in my mixes and my uh sets and all that. <laughs> dude, hell yeah. as soon as i think they're good enough i'll do it hell yeah man hell yeah well the best way to learn is to play yeah so enjoy yourself have a good time and in essence it's just this the way to learn do you know how to dj too did merle teach you mm, i think she was tr- she was gonna start teaching me but i lost i guess i didn't end up like pushing myself to do it but That'd be fun. I got I recently, recently, recently my friend got into it and that was exciting to hear. Is he a Twitch streamer or something? No, he's just he's just a Bruce. That's <laughs> oh, he just he just he's just trying to learn. Okay, oh, uh, the board, you know? there's a lot of like be, yeah, a lot of DJs came out of this quarantine mm-hmm. too. I'd say <laughs> I might crazy. be a DJ too. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone can be DJ can't. nowadays. <laughs> DJ C Money. That'd be so funny, DJ C Money. DJ C Money. Why not? We can, we can. Actually, I want to learn. <laughs> you guys are inspiring me yeah. to learn. Oh, yeah. Music. yeah. Let's doing? explore all <laughs> avenues. Explore all avenues. Yeah. Right? That's, that's what a creative is, right? Yeah. They don't yeah. limit to themselves to just a box. Exactly. Right? Yeah. We go outside the box. Right? Like Jonathan's a poet. He's a podcaster. <laughs> nah, you know what? Nah, forget that, bro. I'm going to be a DJ too. DJ Champurrado coming to you. <laughs> 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 
It's also it's delicious. It's alter ego. <laughs> MC Churro. <laughs> DJ Chaparrado. <laughs> <laughs> ay, ay, ay. You mix them together, we're a good goddamn Mexican dessert. <laughs> Holla at me, boy. Forget about it. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, we're back. For the absurdity of the day. And <laughs> since they're all Scorpios and I'm a Virgo, I decided to search up bad um, facts about Scorpios. Oh, boy. How many did you choose? <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? All right, all right no, no, nothing. I said nothing. Wait, okay, anyway. how are they bad facts? Like, if, it, if something's a bad fact if it's false. No, it's like something that? bad about facts that are bad negative. about Scorpios. Negative. Oh, so things. like negative. Okay. Sorry. But how is it a words. fact if you can't prove it? Uh, okay, we'll see. If, we'll see. if you believe in astrology, then yes, it's a fact. But if it's not, then no. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see about this. All right. Let's throw it, throw it out there. You're just mad because it's bad, something bad about you. <laughs> throw it out there. Throw it out there. <laughs> okay, anyways. Throw it out there. So. Uh, Scorpios have the gift of manipulation. They will trick you into believing what they want, and you'll not. Wait, what? And you'll. Okay, whoever well, wrote this, you need to spell check or like grammar check this, because yeah. <laughs> I They'll was about feed. to say, well, at least we have a bad fact about a Virgo. They can't uh, speak. <laughs> <laughs> well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Anyways, um, they'll feed your mind with their opinions and lead you to believe that they are your own. Is that true? Are you good? I'd say we're pretty manipulative. I think we're convincing. I don't convincing. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's convincing. A nice this guy. I think he <laughs> likes trying to be diplomatic here, fool. <laughs> he's, he's like, no, I'm not manipulative. No, no, convincing. Just, just oh, the word. Oh, that's the word. the wording. Imagine if his like girl is like, if if you have like a girlfriend, she's like. Are you manipulating me? No, I'm just trying to convince just you. Convince That's like you. the way no. to think. You've done that before. Huh? No. It's called, it's called no. persuasive. We're very persuasive about delivering a message. It's because we're intense. We're yeah. intense. Yeah. 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 And if they don't, they'll like, if you don't like believe them, they'll kill you. You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> is, that, is that what it says? No, I'm that, that, that is not true. That is not true. That is not true. That's a bad just fact. That's funny. <laughs> do you guys, how often Take. do you guys think about death or killing someone? What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> I mean, death often, but not killing someone. Yeah. Death I was going to say, well, actually, killing. our form of Murder. retaliation, <laughs> our form of retaliation is a Drake album. That's how we retaliate not me. with. Not me. We'll just send you a whole Drake album. album. Yeah, reminder to the audience, uh, all the boys, all four of us right now is, is Our Scorpio, Scorpios. So. That's fine. There's a power struggle Two going October on. I'm just kidding. Two November My Scorpios. birthday is the same as Drake's. Oh. Yeah. Drake. Yes. Drake, Drake is a what's Scorpio? Yes. Yeah, Drake is a Scorpio. Uh, so we're I just mean, sensitive. Music, I'm just yeah. Y'all are just sensitive. As you can tell too, Drake. Drake is very sensitive. So <laughs> if you want to try to an- analyze it, then yeah. Look at so, Drake. So Drake is the poster child for freaking Scorpios? I, mean, I guess so. Dude, yeah. his album is called Scorpion. Scorpio. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Hey, hey he's, he's, been rele- he's been relevant since how long? So oh, I'm not yeah, mad facts. about that. Facts. I'm not mad Can't about that. Well, give us one more fact. Give okay, us one fine. More fact. Okay. If you don't have it, then. Oh, uh, you guys it. are ruthless. <laughs> uh, Scorpios will never ever. Wow, they said never ever. That's how you know. They said never ever forgive you once you have caused serious damage to them. No matter oh, yeah, how no, hard you tried, try they I'm can become one of the most merciless people if pushed to that limit. I think it depends. Damn, these people don't like Scorpios in this. Yeah, whoever wrote that. Yeah, znews.india.com. <laughs> Someone, uh, a Scorpio just uh, broke, her, broke his or her heart. It's all good. I, th- I, yeah, I, I, good. Can, I can relate to that. I think if someone's crossing me, I mean, it's not like I want to hurt them or anything, but I, I think I would just like not, not, what do you call it, not even see him. Like keep a distance. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't even recognize them. them as, as oh, yeah, as straight as up, bro. If you cross me, you're fucking dead to me. That's <laughs> No, that's, that's honestly true. Uh, and that's just facts, yeah. bro. Like, you yeah, cross yeah. me, you're fucking dead to me. To like, not that I'll do harm to you, yeah, but you're yeah. just fucking dead to Same, me. Same, I'll just no think more. about harming you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm just kidding. You heard it right then and there. Uh, I'm just kidding. Kids. Oh my gosh, what's this like? All right, you heard it, potential partner of Simone it's later. <laughs> you know what's funny, though? Like, every time I, like, go somewhere with my friends, I notice I was like, like, whenever I see something, I'm like... You know, that'd be, like, a nice place to kill someone. Or, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Remember that one time we went to what, the What did creek? you just say? Like, I don't know. I, I watch a lot of crime stuff, and I'm into, like, okay, mis- okay, mystery okay. stuff. Yeah. So it's like, dang, bro, like... That's where you get your ideas. Oh, yeah, we're so just in case I want to kill canceled. someone, I feel like... I know it. I have to get rid of the evidence. Don't get on her bad side, guys. Yeah. Okay, I'll okay. take a forensics class. Oh. Forensics yeah. class yeah. I like oh, your okay. jacket. I like your jacket oh, today. <laughs> Oh my god, I love what you did with I your hair. I just want to get away with murder. 
or something. Don't be plan. Don't be plan on it. As a, as a female too, don't you always think about like if you ever like go on a date or hang out with a guy? That no, you all know, the time. You're like, oh my god, they're gonna kill me. Yeah, I'm like, where are we going? <laughs> That's how no, I mean, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Uh, one time I went on a date, she's like, well, you're gonna kill me, huh? You're gonna kill me. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, where are you taking me? I'm like, no, like, I'm not trying to kill you. You're just trying to be adventurous because we're adventurous too, you know. Yeah. We like to wander off. Same. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle's date was like, oh, where are we going? Kyle's like, the hills. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I'm dead. That's all gonna be Isn't that every Bay Area story though? Come on now. <laughs> Ew. Hey, you wanna go on a date? She's like, go to Sierra. Go to Sierra. 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 Oh, you know, no. where we can see the city lights. Hey, it's a nice <laughs> view. I'm not going to lie. It is? It is. Yeah. Yeah. It's relaxing. Take you away from uh, the madness. Yeah. yeah that's, that's what people do up there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Just take you away from the madness. In regards to dates, today is Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. But you guys will see it like in two weeks. So, Eli, like, do you have a partner? Do you have a significant other? Oh. Do you have a... You're open. Open. Okay. Mm. Shout out to the, the crowd. <laughs> like, he's open. So. He uh, said, I'm open. Scorpio, and you're, how old are you? 23? I'm 23. 23. I'm single. He's a producer. Uh-huh. He's music. He What's music. Come on now. Got uh, my apartment. He's, he's, oh, he's, he's, he's yeah, Mexican. You guys on. own place. What's <laughs> up? Independent. Mexicano. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Not champador, but a champ. <laughs> Not champador. He's a champ. Champador. Champador. Wait. 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 What, Jonathan? Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say champador? <laughs> I said champador. I said champarado. champarado. Luchador. Luchador. He's a luchador. He's a luchador. It's a luchador. Champador? For some, some reason I just thought of Nacho Libre right when you said that. <laughs> Nacho. Nacho. Chancho. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, did you try to say I said champador. Campion? Did you mean to say campion? <laughs> Ca- I don't believe in God. I believe campion. in science. No, 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 no. Drop the H. It's just campion, fool. Campion. No, I just said, champ. I said champion. Campion. I said champion. I'm trying to say it in the English way. He's trying to educate you. Come on now. All right, but I will, I will take it. I will take it. He what just happened here? <laughs> I feel like we had two conversations going on at the same time. Wait, can I ask Eli a question? Yeah. Okay, no. That's no. what we're here for. Oh, I cannot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Are you from 97? 97? Yeah, I am. Wait, what's 97? The year. Me, bitch. Oh, wait. <laughs> you know what the oh, yeah. You guys are the <laughs> <laughs> we're, a, we're a pleasure with this. Oh, so he's, oh, so you're older than me. Oh shit. Yeah. No, oh. Oh. Oh, I thought you no, had, no, I thought no, you went, I thought you each other from high school or something. Oh, no, so no, what's 97? No. Fool, how long have we been friends for? <laughs> no, 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 Wait, like, y'all born 97? 1999. Oh yeah. god. We yeah. just made it. Oh, wait, 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 your birthday is on the 24th. 24th of October, 1997. October. Okay. Wow, 97, year of the ox. This year, year. This is the year for us. This is the year. That's why you guys feel so strong today, huh? Wow. I, I feel that energy. We're both champs today. I feel that energy. Facts. I feel strong every day. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So what would be the pinnacle for you, uh, Eli, in terms of produ- producers, being a producer? Like the, the ideal goals in the Yeah, like yeah. The what is that? that, that I mean... Hopefully I get to the point where like I feel so confident enough that I'm releasing music that I love, that I'm happy with, that expresses me fully, I guess. Mm. Mm. You know? is, is there a specific artist now that you see that we, you would love to work with? Frank Ocean. Ooh. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Frank Ocean. Holla. Holla. Never gonna happen. <laughs> we finna tag you, all right? Hey, Fantastic. you never know. You got to put it out really? there. Yeah, that's exactly. true. So Frank Ocean, if you're listening or... If somehow you're, you're listening. If you're, you're listening, Frank. <laughs> if you're friends with Frank Ocean, holla. What's, uh, what's your IG well, tag? Know. What's your IG? What, uh, Eliseo that? Con Amor. There you go. Oh, Frank Ocean. That's what's oh, up. <laughs> hey, hey, just close the laptop. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 finna, he finna look back at this when he manifests it. Watch 10 years right. from now, 5 years from now. Who knows? Yeah. Like, oh, shit, I did that. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of melody be like, you know, how do you, like, in terms of Frank Ocean music? Melody. How do you, how do you see that? How do you see that music, like, you know, <laughs> vibing? <laughs> No, you know. Mike's like cutting ham off that machine, bro. <laughs> Wax in. Hey. Wax, 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 wax. I'm, try- I'm trying to be convincing. <laughs> you mean manipulative? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think 30% of communication is from speaking. I forgot where I got what? that statistic from. <laughs> yeah, most of it is from movement, eye contact, all that. Yeah. I swear to God. Body yeah, language. Like body, body language. language. Yeah. yeah. I have to be he convincing. Said, body, yaddy, 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 yaddy,
right. Wait, what was the question though? I forgot. <laughs> um, what, what were your melodies? What melody? Yeah. Like what? what, me- I don't what kind of vibe would you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, the, the music, you know. Yeah, yeah. What would it sound like? How do? Um, what do? You- I don't know. It's like. Like think of like taking a shower and just like vibing, you know. Mm. Okay, okay. Or being by the ocean, you know. Yeah. Like literally, think of Frank Ocean. Like, it's kind of like <laughs> 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 don't think of being Frank <laughs> in the ocean and wet. <laughs> so, would you also say too that you're like, if you were to be in the music industry, you wouldn't be. You're more of like the background type of person. Like, like you wouldn't mind being like in the center of attention, or you do kind of want to get to that level as I mean, a producer. I have no preference really. Like, I like. I mean, I, I really kind of buy with anything, really. I mean, I want to produce music. I want to make music that's my own music, too. I want to, I mean, I'm trying to get better at singing. I'm not really a singer, but I've been practicing, so. Okay, sample. Good. Sample. <laughs> <laughs> the mic's right here, guys. Okay, Do you really want it? Let's hear it. <laughs> let's hear it. <laughs> oh, no. Have you, have you been to uh, any art shows in the Bay Area? Like, okay, not like a concert, but like an art show, like an underground thing oh. or something like that. Like, because um, you started last year, right? Yeah, I did. Start last <clears throat> How about before that? Like, where, where would I go? I mean, okay. my my uncle. So my uncle actually had a band for a long time, and it was based in the in the Bay Area, so like San Jose area for a long, like when I was younger. And he used to play at this this a club or like this venue called the Oasis. Oh, oh Oasis! You don't even heard of it. Yeah, yeah. So I used to be there. I used to go there a lot. Ah. I used to see perform. It was really cool. Isn't that where like a lot of bands go to before they get like big? Or is yeah. that one of the stepping stones? I think that's where First and Flight performed at at first before they came out. Jonathan, in the Bay Area. Oh, yeah. I don't know what Oasis is, but cool. Yeah. <laughs> Oasis. Oasis. Check it out. Yeah. yeah, I haven't been there a long time, but I'm sure it's still it's still going. Yeah. How does your family feel about like you doing music and you wanting to pursue this? Um. I mean, I think they're still, they still want me to pursue my, like, um, academic goals for sure. Like, because, you know, I'm like a first generation college student, I guess. Was that mm-hmm. what it is called? Yeah. 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 Um, but they do, I mean, they're all, they love music. They, they supported my uncle when he was doing that. And he's just, so, I mean, they think, they, they think they're definitely proud of me for, like, pursuing something that I love rather than getting lost in things that aren't true to me, you know? Mm. So That's wild. I mean, yeah, I think they're, they definitely are very supportive. So, so out, that's outside of the music. What is it that you are trying to pursue in terms of like? Uh, I mean, I, th- I think COVID kind of like stumped that for a minute. Like, I'm kind of like trying to kind of scope out whether or not I still want to pursue my academic goals that I had previously. But I was pursuing a biomedical engineering degree at SJSU, which previously I was actually doing computer science because I wanted to be a coder. But mm-hmm. I realized that. There's too many coders. <laughs> oh yeah, that, oh, definitely. Yeah. Silicon so, Valley. Silicon Valley. Yeah, yeah. So, and then I think you mentioned at one point you wanted to go to LA. Do you still want to pursue that? I mean, I think if life ends up taking me that way, I'll end up going that way. But I, I'm not like thinking about it that much because, like, hey, you can do it here. Yeah, I, mean, I could do it. Well, I can do it anywhere, difference. right? Honestly, yeah, I'll yeah. do it anywhere. At this point, guys, like at this point, yeah. everyone's at home anyway. So. Oh yeah, What's and like, I feel like just like uh, the Bay Area in general is just really getting themselves out there mm-hmm. like, like more than ever yeah, yeah it's definitely it's growing yeah, yeah. shout and out yeah, to all creatively the speaking. creatives yeah creatively speaking uh, yeah sure. in general i think a lot of people go to la to pursue the creative yeah arts it's hollywood yeah. music yeah. acting there's a lot of connections and I'm like, yeah i think i think every artist like oh that that'll be the place where i can you know make that connection and make it some way somehow yeah, yeah. I, I mean at one point even as a dj i thought about that but i was like no you know i i really love what i'm doing here I mean, but it is an option down the road if I really wanted to pursue it, but not, it's not like that anymore. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, yeah. I totally feel what you mean by like thinking about it in a sense. Yeah. And right? I think I do, I do, what I like kind of share too is that like, I feel like people sometimes like they think that their their life needs to be, like it's going to take them elsewhere. Like, so let's say I wanted to go to LA and like, that's where my life needs to go so I can pursue my career. Mm-hmm. But like oftentimes, especially when you're older, like, you already have so much purpose where you are. Like you're impacting people's lives in some way already. So like, yeah, I already feel very connected to people around me. So I don't feel the need to like step away from that. If I already have something good going on here, you know? Yeah. yeah you, you make yeah. your own environment and situation. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying, exactly. yeah, because there's a lot of people like they just dread it. Like, for example, sometimes I'll hear a lot, like people come back from college and they're back to where they're at. Mm-hmm. 
because they want, expected something else. But you can expect that if you always carry on with life like that, mm-hmm. you'll never be happy where you're at, mm-hmm. or yeah. where you're living at. You, you know what I'm saying? You gotta appreciate where you're at. You know? Exactly. Appreciation. Count your blessings. Yeah. Exactly. And it's like home isn't where you know. It, home isn't a place. It's where you make it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. As cheesy as it sounds. As cheesy yeah. as it sounds. But it's real as fuck. Facts. We got deep again, guys. <laughs> We're just like now. I'm thinking about like oh, no. oh, home, wow. where home is. Now I'm thinking about like my purpose with where I am. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you should be thinking about that, right? Yeah, I you think about be. that yes, every you day. Every day, yeah. we all do. Yeah, we all read the same book, or like I didn't finish it, but like I gave you a book, Think Like a Monk, oh, yeah, think and then. Like a monk. Eli read Good Think like Oh, you're reading it right now? No, he, no, he read it before me. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're yeah. dude, it's an amazing book. It's a huh? great book, yeah. yeah. It's very uh, what book reassuring. Is this? Think, Think Like, like a, a Monk by Jay Shetty. What, what is it about? Um, It's about thinking like a monk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, um, yeah, because yeah, Jay Shetty, the author, he's a, uh, he's, he runs the number one podcast under health and like wellness. Like mental health? Yeah, mental health and stuff like that. Okay. So like, and he was actually a monk for how many? I don't remember, but yeah, he was a monk for. He was in the ashram for a while. Yeah, and um, pretty much he's he's taken all of his like learning, and the stuff that he like went through and put it all in a book, and yeah, how to pretty much like live to be happier, live to be your best self, live to, you know, to cater to your purpose in life, and yeah. Like he took the teachings from the monks that he think he thought would be re- like relatable and useful in people's daily lives, you know. Yeah, I love him and his wife. Like I follow both of them on Instagram. <laughs> oh, they're hella funny. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, he's got some crazy eyes. Hmm? He shed his eyes. Oh yeah, him and his his wife. I, they have like slightly different colored eyes, but like their eyes are like crazy. It's cr- you gotta look, you gotta look yeah. at. Yeah, they're both from London, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah. From London. I thought you said ass. <laughs> wait, I wait. was like, what? Maybe that's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Jonathan, you all rolled your eyes like you were like getting exercise. Exercise. <laughs> You've been quiet over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, apparently I talk too much, so you know I'm giving them a break. Is she? <laughs> <laughs> apparently you talk too much. <laughs> I think you were also hella nodding with the part where you said the first generation college. That really resonates, in a sense, with uh, you, Jonathan. You're like, oh, you're hell yeah, bro. I, that, I yeah. am first gen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, having to pave my own path and follow my own path and just all that, bro. Like, this shit, we're literally first gen, bro. Because I think about my future kids, right? And uh, they, they're they not going to have to go through this because I will already have the knowledge for them to pursue, you know, whatever avenue of success they find in but i will guide them through the steps they have to put in the work obviously i mean fuck if they take bio classes you're you're done kid i I don't even know what a fucking mitochondria is but you know um as far as like where to go to for school how to apply what classes to take how to approach class stuff like that like i am literally setting those milestones bro yeah Yeah. um were you always thinking about music while you did your career in academics when you started your career in academics or not it's, really, not till recently. It's funny you say that, but like, I, I think I, I, as soon as I started doing it, I realized how much I was already so invested in it. Like I was making playlists so often and I was oh, wow. finding the best songs for my, for my vibe and like constantly posting songs and like always looking up like ways into like, I don't know. I was just like, so like overly intensely interested in music, mm-hmm. but I didn't realize that I could have been making it. Mm. Rather than spending all this time just listening to it, you know. And yeah. You you and then you met Morel, right? Or you guys got close, and then you all kind that kind of like pushed you and inspired yeah, we, you. Yeah, we were working together for for a minute at Phil. I, I don't want to say the coffee shop's name, but we were in a coffee shop. Um, but I mean, the COVID hit, and then like there was less of us, so like we got closer because there's we we're like in close proximity, and I see her far more often, you know. Mm-hmm. And I was supporting her in her music career because like I was like, that's hell cool, you're doing that. And then I was like. I, you just kind of inspired me to do the same. Yeah, you want to surround yourself around people that have the same interests and hobbies yeah. at you to keep pushing you. <laughs> yeah. Like, like when I was it. around creatives like 24-7, like <clears throat> with the with the gigs, what I did through the weekday, that just pushed me even more. Yeah, you know what I mean? It makes you want yeah. to do it more. You know? yeah, yeah, but it's hard now because of COVID. Yeah. Yeah, you can't really be around that. Yeah. It's true. Now, you know what I mean? That's interesting you say that because like, yeah, like if you're surrounded by <laughs> everyone pursuing careers in like academics, you're going to be... You're gonna get yeah. you're gonna get convinced that this is what you should do too, you know? Yeah. It's kinda how life works. You get convinced by the people around you. Yeah. Like, is the ideal success, I guess, or the ideal lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you're surrounded by creatives, you're gonna be like, wait, 
I'm also creative too, right? Yeah. And you're like, yeah. oh, how do I implement this into my life too? Yeah. Like, I don't know if yeah. I want to do like, you know, like the regular nine to five job, exactly, and like go yeah. home. But yeah. Like that doesn't have to be yeah. your form of success as he was saying yeah. earlier. <laughs> yeah. And you want to crave in an environment where you guys will always challenge each other or connect <laughs> or just do collabs. You know what I mean? Especially yeah. as artists, I feel like the, the probably one of the best ways to like just even come up as an individual person and just making that connection with others and connecting with your community mm-hmm. you know what yeah. i mean i like there's like specific people that i know that do that in the industry like chow main astrologic right um people like them you know they just connect so well with their people and their fans that you can just feel their art and feel who they are as a person and i feel like those type of artists are the ones that really connect with the most Mm -hmm. through their Mm -hmm. art not the ones that are just doing it just for like the materialistic manner exactly or just for the clout you know what i'm saying you can see the difference with performers too you know what i mean so yeah that's like a big thing yeah so like where do you see yourself in like the next five 10 years with music or any just anything in life um that's also a loaded question because like you never know right yeah. but i mean hopefully i mean ideally i would want to continue doing what i'm doing now you know mm-hmm. if not doing more of it in many different avenues you know i don't want to just do music only i mean yeah I'm, I, obviously i have a creative mindset so like i want to pursue other other ways in which i can use that mind so like you know making videos or doing this podcast you know yeah. Um, so yeah ideally i just hopefully have some sort of success some form of success in what i'm doing and be happy with it of course yeah takes that's a lot nice. of uh patience too to become a producer huh it does because yeah. like you kind of never feel convinced that you're gonna make it or like that you're doing the right thing or that you're actually good at what you're doing until you know you get placed somewhere you know yeah yeah that's why i could see why you really want to perfect your crap first because you're really going to be you know judged or checked out by that you know what i'm saying yeah. so it's good that you, you know you're about that because you know a lot of people that i know they struggle with that a lot and sometimes they don't even make that junk of getting themselves out there <clears throat> they'll have like a hundred files but they won't even release one because they don't think it's yeah. good enough yeah you, know you gotta I mean? release what you got dude honestly because like if you get no opinions you're never gonna know whether or not what you're making is yeah re- like resonant Facts. resonating with anyone so yeah you're gonna be only having your own opinion about it and eventually you're just gonna be like what am i even doing you know? so yeah. what's one advice you would give to upcoming producers if you were to give some type of advice from what you've experienced Oof. you know this past um, year i mean actually I'll, I'll do the advice that morel constantly gives me but basically follow your own sound like something like something i watched in a youtube video recently about like jay Dilla and like the way he makes music you know he's he's a legend you know like mm-hmm. there's no one like him but at the same time there's no one like you so yeah so like trust yourself and trust what you think sounds good and eventually you're gonna come up with a sound that's yours you know and that's that's what you should do just be you be you yeah facts you do you i do me <laughs> <laughs> we, do we. <laughs> we do we <laughs> <laughs> you do you jonathan <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> That's amazing. That's 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 a great advice, man. Because no, that's you're right. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people get so caught up, especially with social media, and what they think they want to be, mm-hmm. or who to be, or too. Who to be? Yeah, exactly. So you just gotta scrap that away. Don't listen to the noise and be who you want to be. Exactly. exactly. And I I feel that a lot sometimes with search, with uh, some creatives is, you know, they're not really who they truly are. Like you don't have to show that. Just show who you really are, man. And yeah. You can work together. Exactly. That's it. Just be genuine people about it. Who, who people who are gonna support you are gonna come out of the the woodworks if you are genuine because. They're gonna they're gonna appreciate your genuine self, you know. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, exactly. I like I always appreciate you, Eli, because you always support my work all the time, and I just love your work too, and I appreciate that. You're always like commenting, dude, yeah, replying to my shit. I'm like, dude, Eli, you, no, for real, you're really genuine, man, and I feel that. Yeah, and I appreciate you, I that, appreciate man. That, yeah. And I yeah. love when you send me music. I'm just like, you know. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, it's just. I mean, yeah, you should connect with people and the world around you. Yeah, always. exactly. Yeah, because if you never find that connection. I don't know. It's it's just really hard to navigate through this through this uh, yeah. journey we call life. Because <laughs> it's like time. yeah, because you always like I don't know. It's bad to like feel alone in it. You know what I'm saying? Especially yeah. if like in the creative industry, like you know, I constantly think like yeah, I'm like being like genuinely myself, but it's like, do people like that? Do people like yeah. me? You know, like I'm like always like constantly like okay, I'm putting out what I like and who I am, but it's like there's still that like little like you mm-hmm. know. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna say this. Yeah. I pr- appreciate your genuineness and I see that in your production. Jonathan, I see it in the way and passionate that you talk about with history and what you teach through education. Simone with your fucking podcast, Money Talks. And 
Mike, with your fucking brand, like all of y'all just have some type of connection that I feel and that, that y'all bring to the table, and it's just amazing. And how, and that's why I surround myself around people like y'all, because I know I can't really get that from most people. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I, that's what I love about y'all work. So I'm gonna just put that out there. Thanks, dude. Uh, yeah. Thanks man. You're I mean, being uh, really sentimental. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm just kidding. Go ahead, Jonathan. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm just gonna be honest. Uh, you know, social media is its own platform, right? So social media by itself isn't solely responsible for how people act because people are also responsible for the way they act and behave on their behalf. Right. And so uh, I get it. You want likes, you want attention, but if it's at the risk of being fake as fuck, then it's just sort of like, you're pathetic. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it like that, you know? So I, yeah. I like genuine uh, connections, you know what I'm saying? Cause at the end of the day, bro, I'm just going to have small talk with you. Then I'm wasting my time. Yeah, there's no point in being yeah, there. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah, yeah I, I mean, feel like, just, just to add on to that, I think you know, social media is just a tool. It's really, yeah. it's really how we use it. But in essence, also, we have to look at it as it's, it is a reflection of our time. It is a reflection of society. So then if it's being used in a certain way, then it's, it's reflecting society. And that's what we need to change, in essence. You know? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And I feel like, too, like, if you're on social media and, like, you're trying to put up a persona, or you're trying to act a certain way... Y- Real people can tell, you know what I'm saying? Like genuine mm-hmm. people, like, and it will show eventually, you know what I'm saying? Like, and like when you hang out with, especially when you hang out with someone like who that you've like met through like social media, or like just in general, when you hang out with them more and just notice things, you're just like, all right, like what's really going on here? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So be real. Cause eventually. Real will tr- come back to you. Yeah. Real will exactly. come back to you. Yeah. And the way I always like to put it right is like, why do I give a fuck if I have 12,000 followers versus 200 real ones because after you yep. decipher through all those followers you're only going to have what like 10 real ones like i'd rather yeah. surround myself with real ones and a bunch of fakes mm-hmm. yeah um eli any last words for the viewers yeah. the people are listening uh i mean i don't know i guess thank you guys for having me here thank you for giving me a space to you know express myself yeah I mean, that's all i want to do you know so any upcoming projects you got coming Mm, no major things like announced but i'm definitely still making music perfecting my craft dropping beats like crazy on soundcloud so you can go ahead and listen to that if you want Mm -hmm. to what's that what's that my my soundcloud yes it's um soundcloud.com slash aki and bass i oh (laughs) let's go i will drop the link right down here down there if yeah. you're watching the video and also <laughs> it'll right be there. in our bio <laughs> on um and instagram yes we'll, yeah. we'll 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 put you on we'll, we'll, you'll be our one of our sponsorships for the next month Thank your soundcloud you. yeah. we got you man Facts. Uh, appreciate you guys. all right Period. all right and uh we are out right. bye guys happy valentine's day have a little new year let's go Yeah.